Remember, Derek Kramer was quickest in category last night. Because of that, he earned the right to be last. So T and the team are back here behind the tower, waiting to see where they're going to shake out. And then he will be part of the last pair with a shot to get it back. Jerry Don Tucker rolling in here now. Lined up on the left side of the racetrack. That is an elite fielded car for the folks at Outlaw Mile High Beer Company. Tucker just inherited the number eight spot as Matt Hartford moved up. And Dallas Glenn. Man, has it been a tale of two seasons for Dallas Glenn. He currently sits 14. But Dallas, in the early part of the year, qualifying up top, winning races, leading the points for a fair chunk of the season. Once we started into the countdown of the championship, though, it's almost like they flipped a switch. They just haven't quite had the magic. The Rad Torque Machine has still been solid, just not quite as good. Anybody that races knows how it goes. You know, you're doing everything the same. You're doing making solid runs, doing good prep, not making mistakes, and sometimes those lights just quit coming on down there at the other end of the racetrack. Well, right now, Dallas is hoping that he can get him to start coming back on and he can fight his way back into this points championship. That rad car's tearing the numbers up down low. Let's look up high. 6.48.6 for both. Look at Jerry Tucker's speed, 213 miles an hour. Troy Coughlin stays number one, 6.482. Tucker, 6.486. Dallas Glenn, also 6.486. And how about Kramer at 6.486? Matt Hartford ran 6.487. 